With the release of EVO 2022's lineup, it got me thinking about why the card gaming community as a whole never thought of coming up with a similar multi-brand tournament. For those not into fighting games, Evolution or EVO is an annual fighting game tournament that is often regarded as the most competitive tournament among fighting game players. Think of it as Super Bowl of Street Fighter. It started as a grassroots movement among fighting game players where community-supported fighting games are usually featured. From there, EVO grew into something more than just a tournament as fighting game publishers have eventually lent their support. It's now a multi-million dollar media outlet event where publishers could preview their upcoming games and make official announcements on their current ones. Alongside EVO, grassroots businesses providing products like arcade sticks, t-shirts, printing, posters, and even keychains also sprang up. As to how an EVO-style tournament could help or even save some CCGs, it's primarily about exposure and prestige. Currently, the practice among CCG publishers can be somewhat described as cloistered up to a fault. Publishers such as Wizards of the Coast, Konami, and the Pokemon Company usually hold tournaments exclusively catering to their games. Now, don't get me wrong, this is understandable as the expense of holding a national or world championship tournament is quite considerable. This is especially true if that company bears the expense on its own. Uh, this, however, leads to tournaments or other events being echo chambers of the card community that already caters to the game, often reinforcing a group behavior that's already ingrained within that community. However, an EVO-style tournament would allow publishers to expose their games to a bigger audience of people who are already into card games and are somewhat willing to explore other brands and even quite possibly extend to those who are still undecided about which card game they would like to play. Something that would not be otherwise possible if that company would limit itself to internal resources. For small to medium-sized companies that produce or publish a card game, exposure to a larger audience can feel like a godsend. Obscure card games that may be featured have that marketing or advertising chance that would not have been possible without such an avenue. Hidden Gems would be finally given that opportunity to shine amidst the flood of CCGs that are in the market right now. This also applies to card games that are no longer officially supported by their companies but are sustained by the loyalty and devotion of their fan base. Uh, more than once, EVO has been that avenue for rediscovering card games that have been swept either into obscurity or lost to time. For card game players, uh, this would expose them to card games that on their own would not normally come to their attention. If you're from North America, for example, the chance that you'd notice a card game from Japan from some obscure anime is pretty low. Unless, of course, if you're already into hobbies that are somewhat adjacent to that card game like anime or manga. Or how about less known Kickstarter card games? Unless you're made, you've made it a habit to monitor Kickstarter projects, you wouldn't know about them. Uh, having an EVO style tournament also helps card players as a whole become empowered consumers. I admit this is a bit of a stretch, though I still believe that the community that voices its message as a group is more likely to be heard compared to a segment of a consumer base of a particular card game. Take the fighting game community for example or the FGC. One of the biggest complaints that the FGC ever voiced was the lack of a better online experience, particularly among Japanese games. The community rallied and made their voices heard, eventually leading some Japanese developers to adapt better rollback net netcode. The same can happen within the card game community, although the argument can be made if it's even possible to group all these diverse card game players under a wider label called the card gaming community. I believe so, but subject to certain caveats and based on a consensus of shared in interests. While a card game player's experience within their own community is unique, some issues 
cut across the entire industry such as card quality, distribution, and pricing models. On those, the card gaming community may serve as a soundboard to voice player concerns. All in all, I think the absence of an EVO-like tournament for card games is somewhat of a missed opportunity that could have, in some small way, improved our experience as card game players. That's all I have to say. Did you agree with me? Tell me in the comments and I'll catch you on the flip side.